there everyone, my name is Chloe, I'm Sarah, and today we're going to be making a sock puppet. So we have got this sock puppet here, it's kind of what we're aiming for. So you can use it for play or to do a show and I'm going to be using one of the little activity bags that some people have in their bags and Sarah's going to do one of the freestyle things from around the home. If you've got your instructions, the first thing you need to do is put your hand inside the sock puppet. Or if you haven't got a pack, go get one of your socks back home. You can use any colour sock. Yeah, any kind of colour sock. It could be a long sock, a short sock. And it might actually be good to put the little bit that your heel goes in as kind of like the bottom of your mouth. So then you've got body ready. You know you're going to stick all the bits. Next, we're going to stick our hair onto the sock. We go now and we put our hair on the top of our head. But if you want, you could give your sock puppet a beard. Yeah. Little goatee whiskers. Little whiskers. Or if you prefer, doesn't need a hat hair, could be bald. With the ones in the pack, you will have some double sided tape already stuck onto your hair that you can maybe just get an adult or someone to help you peel off if you need it. And then you can just stick it on. So that's what's happened with this one. And if you haven't got one of the packs, you could use anything for the hair. I've got some ribbons, you could use like leaves, you could cut up some paper, you could use anything. Anything at all. I've got a pipe cleaner here too, so I'm not going to have to cut some out and make some eyebrows. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you can stick it on if you have glue at home. You could probably use glue. It might have to be liquidy glue, not a glue stick. Yeah. But we've got some sticky tape. Yep. So, the hair's already been cut with this one, but I think I'm going to give it a, a little bit more of a haircut if you're safe with scissors and do kind of like a short hairdo. You could even give it a ponytail or a bun. Ooh, nice. So mine's got ponytails. <laughs> little piggy tails. If you wanted, this is also where you could add little extra bits from around home if you wanted to give your um, hairstyle a little ribbon on top or if you have like a spare hair clip maybe, oh, you could add it on. And make a little bow. With my pipe cleaner here. That's a good idea. My person has now got a bow. Oh, that's so cool. So next up on our instructions, we have eyes. Mm. So eyes, in your pack, you will have some, you've got some sticky eyes. So you can use, you can just unpeel the back and then pop them on. This might be a little bit hard, so you can get an adult to help you unstick it. Or you could use glue and pop them on. So I've got my eyes stuck on. Now wow. Sarah is going to use... I'm going to get a black pen. So I'm just going to draw some eyes on, since I don't have any of those um, stick, on eyes. stick on eyes. So I'm just going to do two round circles for eyes. Just below my hair and bow. So that's what it looks like. Lovely. So next on our list we have lips. So again, everything in the pack is already sticky on the back. So it gets this one's a little bit fiddly, but you can unstick the back. I'm gonna work on this while so we can draw her lips. Well, I'm gonna use a pink pen to draw some pink lips for my puppet. This might be a little bit tricky, so you might have to pull your sock out and keep it nice and tight. And I've got my sticky back unstuck and I'm going to put the lips on near the end. You can even do an open mouth with like big teeth showing. Yeah, you could. So this is what mine looks like. Looks good. Now next, we can use our, so if you have a texture or a colored marker at home or 
don't know that pencil would show up a lot, but you could use anything to add on extra decorations. So we could add on, I'm gonna borrow Sarah's black marker and put on a little nose on my sock puppet and some ears. I'm gonna add some earrings onto my ears Lovely. with this green pen. I'm just gonna do a nose on mine. So now our puppets are pretty much done. You could have a puppet show if someone else you know um, wants to make a puppet as well. You could have like a little story or a chat with your puppets. You know what would be cool with these? What? You could do shadow puppets. Oh yeah. Or if you've got a long sock, you could even decorate this part for the body. Ooh, you can make a dress or shirt and pants. And then swimming pogs, mm -hmm. tutu, ballerina tutu. Mm -hmm. We could even um, make um, a mask for our sock puppets. A mask or some glasses. Yeah, so they can um, stay safe from COVID. Yes. Well, we hope that you have so much fun making your sock puppet. And if you make any, be sure to take a picture. See you later.